In this video, we're going to demonstrate the new Silverlight recording capabilities of Design Canvas 2.0. If you're already familiar with Design Canvas, it'll just be like recording an HTML page, but we'll be on a Silverlight application. So to begin, we'll go ahead and open up Visual Studio 2008. We'll create a new test project. Next, we'll add a new WebI test. Now, if you're already familiar with Design Canvas, you'll know that we'll need to go up and click record on the current test to start recording our new scenario. We go ahead and enter our new URL. For this Silverlight recording demonstration, I'm going to use easyinventorysystem.com, which is a business line application that helps you manage your inventory. So we're going to click navigate. The first thing you'll notice is that Design Canvas has actually detected that there's a Silverlight on the page and is configuring it so that we can uh, properly automate it. You'll also notice in the Test Explorer that our Navigate 2 step has been recorded. So the first thing we'll want to do for this business line application is go ahead and click Login. Again, you'll notice that the step is actually recorded in the Test Explorer. Next, we'll go ahead and enter our username and password. So under Username, we'll type in an account that we've already set up. You'll notice, as we set the username and password, they're both typing in showing the text in each of the steps below. Next, we'll click Login. Now, if you're already familiar with Design Canvas, there are a few differences that we should note about the Silverlight application. First, if we go to the Elements Explorer, you'll notice that under the Easy Inventory System page, it shows a node that represents the actual Silverlight application. And under that Silverlight application, each of the elements within the Silverlight application that we've recorded actions against in the Test Explorer show up as a separate node. Just like the previous version of Design Canvas, the DOM Explorer shows all the tags within the page hierarchically. So if we come over to the DOM Explorer, we'll notice that the highest level is the HTML tag, which we find on the inventory.aspx page. Now, within this page is the actual Silverlight application itself. So instead of having to drill down through all of the forms and get it to go find the Silverlight applications within this hierarchy, we can actually come up here and click on the Silverlight application, which will take us to the parent node of the current inventory management system. So if we open this up, what we'll see first off is a grid, which is the actual layout route of the Silverlight application, and then it'll go through all the controls going through the entire Silverlight application. So for example, let's say we wanted to find this inventory text block within our DOM Explorer. We could come over here and turn on the overlay surface, and then we could find our inventory text block. We'll wait until the nub pops up, and then we can click on it, and then just do a locate in DOM like we used to have in the old context menu. So once we click locate in DOM, we can actually see that here's our text block within the hierarchy of the Silverlight application on the page. So we'll come back to the DOM Explorer in a different video, um, but this is just to kind of show that similar to D Design Canvas 1.1, you can find elements um, hierarchically within the page within the DOM Explorer also. So let's click back on the Solution Explorer and minimize it. So now that we actually have recorded a few steps and we have some elements going, let's actually go ahead and just um, execute this test as is so far. The first difference you'll notice is that we have an art of test test runner that pulls up and tells you that it's actually executing the test. So the first thing it'll do is it'll navigate to the Silverlight application. It's going to click the login button, enter the credentials that we've recorded, and click login. And that's all we've done so far. So now that we know our test is uh, succeeding so far, and we can actually start recording, um, actually doing some inventory management. So the first thing let's do, let's go ahead and click on our inventory link. Once the inventory screen pulls up, let's start off by adding an additional item to the item grid. So we'll go and click Add Item. And then we'll start with the name. So we'll call this Item 2. And then we'll put Item 2 Description for the description. And then we'll put that it's uh, 10 units. Click Save. 
And then once it's been saved, we'll actually click Close. So after we add item 2, let's go and verify that the total quantity is 10. So we'll go up and turn the highlighting surface on. And what we'll do is as we roll over, you'll notice just like in HTML, we're actually highlighting the elements within the Silverlight application. So let's go up to this actual 10, which is a text block. And we know this is a text block because a translator for the text block shows up. So what we'll want to do is click on the text block translator. And this will pull open our element menu. Now in the element menu, let's go down to the quick tasks. And the quick tasks are for this actual text, blocks, it's text block itself. So what we'll want to do is we'll add a verification that makes sure that the content matches 10. So let's double click this. And then what we'll see in the test explorer is that we get that verification added. So let's actually go ahead and run this test as is and make sure that all of this passes. So what we'll make sure we want to do is go ahead and delete. Let's turn recording off. And let's actually delete this item too because this system persists uh, the data. And so once we log back in, we want to make sure it's in a clean state. So record an additional click, get rid of that. Okay, so we should be ready to execute. So let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, we can now see that our test has passed. Now at this point, you know, this is pretty much a good demonstration of kind of the recording and then the verification aspect of the Silverlight. So let's kind of talk about some other features of Design Canvas that can help you in recording and doing your verifications. So the, one of the most important new features is the highlighting surface that we've created. So just like in HTML, as you go over elements within the page or the Silverlight application, it'll actually highlight them. Now, you're seeing a couple different colors of highlighting going on here. What these represent is actually the different translators that are part of uh, the Silverlight automation. So, for example, whenever we stopped on top of this uh, text block right here, what we can actually see at the lowest level, this is what we highlighted. So this is what the little, what we term the nub pops up as. So as we go up this fan, you'll notice that we're actually translating what these elements are within the Silverlight application. So the next item up is actually the text block, which contains widget label with the date. As you move up from there, this is actually the checkbox. And then if you move up from there, you can actually see that this controls within a list box. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a verification or inspect this a little bit more depending on what we're on. So if we wanted to say, well, let's verify that this box is actually checked and it's part of the uh, columns for this grid. So we could actually click on this and go over to the quick tasks. Now within the quick cast, what we'll see is we have one for the checked state, the visible state, collapsed, um, the actual positioning on the page. Um, if we needed to craft a wait mechanism that said, well, wait until this checkbox is actually checked before we move on, you could do that. Um, you can also say, well, let's, let's move down to the text block. We can go back to the quick tasks and say, well, let's verify its positioning. Let's uh, verify that its text content is widget label. This is really just a mechanism to help you quickly inspect what the properties of the Silverlight application are and actually add these verifications to your screen. This concludes the video for Silverlight Recording for Design Canvas 2.0. If you want to see some more about the highlighting surface and even the quick tasks and the 3D new 3D view, uh, please check out the video on that.